morning. Step into the office. What up, Pedro Dora Santiago back at you with another daily video vlog. So today is Tuesday, it's nine o'clock. Gotta run some errands, meeting a friend for breakfast, and then we'll hit the road. But today's intro clip, and for those of you that new for those of you that might be new here, or for those of you that aren't, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I do daily gig work in the St. Louis market, working on my dreams to become a small business owner, helping other small business owners like myself. And um, I do gig work and I, I I enjoy it. The highs, the lows, the ups and downs. So we talk about how to dissect orders, find hidden tips, tips, tricks, strategies. Just give you guys the real every day. I try to be as transparent as I can be, showing you guys really what's going on out here. If you're a new DoorDash specifically and an Uber driver, you should be subscribed to this channel. Let's hit the bell. Let's hit the thing right now. Sorry, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Your boy's looking rough today. I'm just like, I had to get up and just get at it and do some things. I was like, yeah, I didn't go to sleep till like three o'clock last night this morning so that is what it is also this channel is about betting on you setting goals and doing it one day at a time i try to um i try to give people the idea that you know you're you're a hustler you're betting on yourself you can do it like you know remind yourself that when it gets bad and also what is your goals you got to have monetary goals every day that you set for yourself by doing gig work and then you also have to have you know monthly or yearly goals because if you're doing this you're building towards something and I, I try to this channel is about reminding you on that and challenging you on that as well so anyways today's video is going to be a situation I ran into last yesterday for lunch um, scammers and or people that will try to manipulate and try to get you to do things while you're out doing gig work okay and it happens I'm over 5,000 combined I'm at almost I get 5,600 combined gig trips with rideshare uber eats delivery oh i didn't even include the postmates we're at six thousand, and then most of that like 60 percent of that's going to be doordash but people will try to get away with things whether it's them doing fraudulent things having you pick up passengers that really aren't them and they're doing crazy stuff in the back and you know like customers calling you asking you to do things that are maybe illegal you're gonna have that happen sometimes it's not common so i don't want to scare you but it happens, and I want you guys to be prepared. So I'm gonna share what a small little thing that happened yesterday. I avoided it, but some of you might not be able to because you might not think about it, or you might think, oh, I just wanna be nice. Yeah, I wanna be nice. I wanna, you know, and that's great. Customer service is key, but you gotta protect yourself to avoid deactivation and avoid any kind of issues down the line. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail and or the description, you might know what this is about. Let's just watch the video. You guys are amazing. Hit the like, comment, comment in the comments, guys, on this particular video. Has anything like this happened to you? And what's your craziest dashing Uber, Lyft, Postmates, Grubhub story? What's the craziest story? And this isn't my craziest, but what's your craziest situation you were in, good, bad, or indifferent? You guys are amazing. Deuces. Lobby better be open. Yep. All right this time. DoorDash calling me. Hello, this is Pedro. Hi. Um, me and my husband were like exposed to COVID. So, is there any way that you could like stop at a gas station on the way and get um, see my house to use and then a pack of menthol pods and I'll leave the money for you on the on the front porch? I'm sorry. I don't even know who this is. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. is this Cecilia? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I would love to do that, but I can't. Like, I can't. Do, I can't buy like things like tobacco and things like that. Because if, if I deliver that to somebody that's not eighteen or twenty-one, like, I get deactivated like immediately. Okay, I, I get it. Sorry. It's all right. All right. What? Oh, people. Okay, so I just picked up this Happy Meal from McDonald's, and the customer tried to call me once, I didn't pick up. Called again, I was like, all right, let me, you call him twice, I gotta pick up. And she doesn't even say who she is, she just says, my husband and I have been exposed to COVID. Can you, and she sounded young, but you know how that is. Can you pick us up some, like, vape cigarette stuff no i can't and she leave the money i can't do that because she wants me to pay for it and then leave the money 
people be tripping, bro. So if you, you can go online and order that. I don't know. Some, that was a kid that wanted a vape pen or something. I'm telling you, bro. I don't even understand. She's probably going to rate me bad too, but I don't care. That's crazy, man. I can't make this stuff up, guys. After thinking about that a little bit more, 100% tried to scam me. These are the, so I'm almost here. This neighborhood is a nice, it's a nice neighborhood. It's nice. I'll say that. Really, it's a really nice area. And um, their parents are at home or their parents are at work. And this girl, young lady, and her friends are probably at home hanging out. What you do when you're, you know, summer break. How do we get a vape pen? Oh, we can go to DoorDash and order it. They can't order it themselves because there's no ID, right? Right? You follow me? Because you can order. I've delivered vape pens and whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. So I've ordered. I've delivered tobacco and cigarettes to people from 7-Eleven many times. They can't do that because they're not. A, they're not an 18. They don't have valid ID. So let's order McDonald's and then let's get the information from the driver and see if they'll pick it up. See if he'll Pedro will pick it up for us because we want tobacco. We want a vape pen. Scam! Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Somebody calls you and they want you to buy alcohol or tobacco. They can use the DoorDash app to do that, guys. Do not fall for the scam. Don't do it. And I've had customers say, hey, can you, other things, like other things have come up and if I can do it, I'll do it. Oh, can you give me extra sauce? Can you give me this? Hey, I forgot to put on for a bag of ice. Can you do that? And then, you know, like I've done that before, right? No, too sketchy. A Happy Meal from McDonald's? In this, no. Exposed to COVID? Get out of here. That sounded like a 13-year-old, 14-year-old kid all day long. Now you know what to do, guys. If that happens to you, the answer is no. It's not worth the deactivation. It's not worth those parents coming home. How'd you get this? Oh, my God. Da, da, da. Oh, you ordered DoorDash? Da, da, da. Oh, the DoorDash guy got it for us. Da, da. Oh, you in trouble. You in trouble, man. Don't fall for it. Look at this house. Nice house. Letting the kids get me.